Hello, welcome to Rinsing Academy. We are discussing matters in our surrounding and this is lecture number 3. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 2 before watching part 3. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about the states of matter in detail. So, states of matter. There are, uh, as we had discussed earlier, there are three states of matter. One is solid, liquid and gas. Solid, liquid and gas. What about solid? In solid, second, liquid and gas. Let me write like this. So, there are solid, liquid and gas liquid and gas on the basis of composition composition of matter uh, there are three type of uh, substance called solid liquid and gas here what about this solid and what is specific about this solid here the, the particles are the particles are particles of solid are solid are closely packed closely packed, packed right that is the less between uh, a space between particles are very less that is the space between the particles a space between particles particles are very less are less very less right this is the things here a space is very less they are closely packed and a space is very less. a space is very less i can see now uh, in this one it is an intermediary intermediary means what that uh, particles are the space a space between particles particles are intermediary intermediary means intermediary that is neither too packed nor too far away that is intermediary that is more than solid but less than gas right so a space between the particles are so it is not so closely packed it is not so closely packed not so closely packed there is some space between them it is not so closely packed in gas edge you can see here particles are the space between particles a space between particles are more more larger okay large you, you can say large the spaces between particles are large right so they can have a huge space between them huge space between them and particles are loosely packed you can say here particles are loosely packed particles are particles are so particles are loosely packed loosely packed right now that is not so close to each other and you can see this from this diagram that the particles are this is a solid this is a disk right now that is a disk here and uh, on this disk there is a this solid material that is kept here or this disk is itself a solid material in this one the particles are so closely packed that gap between them is very less here the small gaps are there even though but uh, these gaps are very less and very less gap they are closely packed and tight together in liquid say this is water say this is water so in this uh, 
water or whatever the liquid may be in that if you, you have a microscope view you will see that there is a large gap between them and more gap than solid right now in case of this is a balloon and say in this one there is uh, gas is filled in balloon in that way particles are very far away from each other and there is a large gap so gap is intermediary in liquid they are not so closely packed but as compared to solid they are loosely packed and as compared to gas they are closely packed so in comparison with one another it can be described that so of course here the force of attraction is in solid the force of attraction between the attraction between particles here the attraction between the particles attraction between the particles between the particles is much higher much higher as compared to as compared to liquid and gasage <coughs> gasage right now here the in liquid the attraction attraction force of attraction in this liquid the attraction between the particle between the particle age lower as compared to solid compared to solid but higher as compared to liquid but higher as compared to gas as compared to gas you know so this is in gas what about gas in gas the force of attraction the force of attraction the force or attraction the attraction between the particles you can write here the attraction between the particles between the particles of gas particles of gas is very very less very less and hence they can move very less and uh, they are loosely loosely packed packed right now. so these are few things in which you can describe among the particles of solid liquid and gases i hope you got this point right now. in solid they are has different shape and size right now. so in solid material we have a different shape and size as well so we will talk about that the characteristics of solid characteristics of liquid but what the nature of the matter that uh, exists in solid liquid and gases that are entirely uh, based on the at force of attraction between the particles and the how they are situated in the matter in the substance whether they are loosely packed or less loose, loosely packed or loosely packed so depending upon them we can classify that matters are of three types solid liquid and gas now let us discuss uh, one by one what is the properties of solid characteristics of solid so characteristics of solid now we are going to discuss about solid characteristics of solid characteristics of solid solids right of solid so what is the characteristic of solid so everybody knows that solid has what definite shape and size isn't it solid has they have definite 
shape and size shape and size and also fixed volume also have fixed volume fixed volume right this it but there must be question you may think of that suppose there is a sugar and sugar has uh, the same uh, in the container in which they are kept okay the shape of the sugar it changes it may be crushed into powders it has a uh, different because how they can be considered as solid because their volume is fixed even though but shape of uh, sugar crystals they are change physical changes even the physical changes of shape is there but still it is considered to be solid because the structure is not going to change and the shape is changed size is changed but still it is considered to be solid a rubber a rubber is a solid material but still you can extend them but when a deforming force that is the force what you have applied for extension of the uh, rubber uh, if you release it it will come to its original position so shape can be changed even but uh, um, the, it is considered to be solid material generally uh, girls women they are uh, taking a rubber uh, band and uh, use the to bind their hair and having a different shape at different time but still it is considered to be solid similarly a spring a spring is also uh, changing their shape by applying deforming force that is excess force to change its shape but whenever it is released it has uh, it is come to its original position or even though if it is not come to the position then their shape is change but volume will not going to change so definite shape that can be uh, valid for all of them uh, yeah, definite shape and fixed volume this is the first characteristics second they can be cut into pieces second point is that solids can be cut into pieces into pieces solids can be cut into you have an apple and you can cut into pieces and distribute among your friends so solids can be cut into pieces then third point is that solids are incompressible solids are solid are incompressible incompressible it means it cannot be much compressed right now slightly compressed very very slightly that is marginally uh, ignored so that is why it is called solids are incompressible we cannot compress it into the same what it has exactly for example there is a chair on which we on which you are sitting you cannot compress this so small that you can keep this chair in pocket and wherever you go uh, you can uh, drop from your pocket and you can sit there so it cannot be compressed you know so solid is incompressible it cannot be compressed in very small form so that is why it is called solids are incompressible and the fourth thing it cannot flow solids can cannot flow solids cannot flow cannot flow cannot flow like liquid if you put a solid somewhere suppose you have placed a chair or a book on your table and next day when you come it cannot be flow from table to chair or some other places in the room it will remain fixed at the same position it cannot flow from one place to another place uh, place uh, as liquid can right now liquid can flow if you have a liquid you placed here for a drop of ink if you placed on the chair on the table or anywhere 
it will spread some places it can flow somewhere if you put a glass of water on your table it will flow and it will spread all over the table approximately so this is what the characteristics of solid solids have rigidity rigidity means uh, they are rigid not to change you know so incompressible and also here you may add it because extra point is uh, compressible and rigidity rigidity solids had incompressibility and rigidity you can say solid has incompressibility and rigidity these are the characteristics of solids so solid are incompressible and rigid it has a definite boundary solids has solids has distinct boundary distinct boundaries boundaries solid such distinct boundaries for example if i am writing here something suppose this block is being made then it has a fixed and distinct boundary if this one is like this then they have a distinct boundary so different type of solid items has different boundaries you can see here this is a solid and this has a different boundary another is like a, this is a ball or a circle or a ring even you can say i have a ring of this uh, type and uh, this color this shape and they have it has a different boundary i have a plot of land which has boundaries like this so that is fixed boundary so definite boundary are there uh, of a solid material you have a piece of glass piece of tablet piece of phone and all of them has definite and distinct boundary so these are some characteristics of solid now uh, we are going to discuss about the similar characteristics of liquid so characteristics of liquid the next point is characteristics characteristics of liquid liquid first point is it has definite volume definite volume right second age solid uh, liquid has indefinite indefinite shape that is liquid has do not a definite shape it is uh, um, always be uh, take a shape in which it was kept for example 100 milliliter of milk if you put in a glass it will be in shape of glass if you put in a bottle it will be in shape of bottle so it has not a definite shape the particles are the particles are particles are intermediate intermediary intermediate close to each other close to each other part of each other it means neither too closely packed nor too loosely packed intermediary close to each other it cannot be cut into pieces it cannot be cut into pieces into pieces into pieces right no? it cannot be cut into pieces that is it cannot be heaped it is a particular word in which uh, this can be used it cannot be heaped cannot be heaped heaped you know so this is what so you can't cut water from knife you can't cut uh, honey with knife and take to pieces you know similar like what we can do for a pizza that we can cut from with knife and we can uh, make some pieces in which we can distribute among your friends but uh, we cannot cut um, honey into pieces or cold drinks what you are taking in restaurants into pieces and distribute among your friends so liquid cannot be cut into pieces it has liquid has fluidity fluidity liquid has fluidity that it has not a rigid shape right fluidity fluidity that is no rigid shape no rigid shape 
it is uh, slightly compressible liquid is slightly compressible so six point is liquid is low compressible liquid has low compressibility like uh, this liquid has low compressibility that is it is compressible slightly compressible you know so these are few points uh, which can liquid can flow right now so these are few points which you can um, memorize and you can understand about the liquid now the next point is characteristics of gases so let me write here characteristics of gases of gases right now characteristics of gases so gas are very much compressible first thing the particles are loosely packed the gas are gas are particles are very packed there is a first thing that uh, first point is gas are compressible first thing i can write here yeah, gas are compressible compressible right now it can be compressed so a uh, huge amount of gas can be compressed in a particular cylinder you have seen oxygen cylinders in which you have seen cng cylinders you have seen a uh, um, different type of gas cylinders in which gas are being compressed and CNG is nothing else but compressed natural gas. So here gas are compressed at highly pressure, high pressure and they are kept in a, a small cylinder. A huge amount of gas is kept in a small cylinder. You have seen uh, CNG vehicles in which gases are compressed by uh, some instrument and put into the tank of uh, vehicle and after that it has been used it is used generally um, for fuel as a fuel while vehicle is moving so gas are compressible this is the first characteristic why compressible because now uh, the thing is that the space between the particles since a space between the particles between the particles are very large particles is very large large it has no fixed volume gas has gas has no definite volume definite volume right now no definite size no definite size right now size of set no definite shape. So shape is uh, things in which it is kept. Similar like liquid, if it is kept in a bottle, it will be uh, in size of bottle. And PNG or CNG, CNG is kept in a big cylinder of a big size. It can be also kept in a small cylinder. It can be also uh, kept in very very small uh, cylinder. So different type of gases can be kept in different type of cylinders or even in same cylinders depending upon their capacity gases can be compressed and kept right now so gases are very much compressible a space between particles is very uh, large gas has no definite volume no definite shape right now particles of gas are particles of gas of gas has high kinetic energy, high kinetic energy, kinetic energy as compared to as compared to liquid, liquid and solid as well, right now. So because there are huge space and so particles can move it easily and uh, if uh, suppose a gas is leak in your house then you can smell from far away place and you can say that there is a leakage in gas in my kitchen 
so you can uh, observe it or even perfume or fragrance of any flower can be observed from uh, distant places as well so here uh, gases has no fixed volume no uh, definite size or shape particles are has highly kinetic energy high kinetic energy as compared to liquid and the space between the particles are very large it cannot be cut into pieces it cannot be it cannot be cut into pieces it can't cut cannot be cut into pieces into pieces right it can not flow but it can diffuse it can diffuse it can diffuse rapidly diffuse rapidly right it can, it can diffuse rapidly in atmosphere in surrounding surrounding so these are few points which you which you should keep in mind and you should remember about the gas so different type of characteristics of the different type of substances and states of matter includes the uh, uh, position shape volume everything about the matter and on the basis of that it has been described in three different types that is solid liquid and gases you can have uh, some examples of solid liquid and gases separately uh, you can see um, there is a um, different type of substance around you like chair table pan um, food items even you have biscuit all these are in solid form liquids you can see there is a cold drinks there is a tea there is a milk there is a water all these are liquids and gases like uh, carbon dioxide uh, oxygen and other some fragrance and smells uh, which you can observe uh, by your olfactory system that all are considered to be gases so uh, this is the main thing and distinction between solid liquid and gases hopefully you understood and uh, you are now able to classify that which of the substance is solid and which of the substance is liquid or gases but there are few things which uh, is still to be answered about uh, the different type of substances a sponge you have seen a sponge and uh, you have seen it uh, uh, whether it is solid or liquid or gases of course it is not gas it is not a liquid it is a solid because it has a definite shape and a definite size as well but still um, as i said that uh, it is incom solids are incompressible but we can incompress the, the sponge in a smaller form so is this true do you think this violate the basic characteristics of solid no this is not uh, because there are gaps between air gaps between the particles of uh, two different particles of uh, sponge and therefore when we squeeze them or uh, when we compress them the air uh, releases from it and as soon as we release them the pressure we release then this air gaps again filled within it so this is just solid uh, the air gaps the size is being um, changed because the air gaps release from it but still it is considered to be solid so a sponge is a solid not a liquid or gas now one thing that the solid can be dissolved in liquid why it is so because solid is closely packed particles and liquid has a space between the particles when solid is dissolved in liquid then that uh, a space between two particles of liquid solid can adjust and therefore solid can be dissolved in liquid similarly um, uh, gases can be also dissolved in liquid for example, uh, H2O, H2O is water and there is a combination of liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. So um, there is oxygen and hydrogen dissolved in it, which will be uh, useful for aquatic animals, which takes breath through it 
and breathing uh, can take place uh, through water only and they fulfill their requirement of oxygen for their life uh, from water only, dissolve oxygen from water only. So in that case, um, gases are also dissolved in uh, water and it can be dissolved in other uh, substances also. You are uh, taking cold drinks in that carbon dioxide is there and some carbon dioxide is mixed in coke and cold drinks. Uh, which uh, you can uh, take it. So, uh, different type of gases, gases can be dissolved in different types of liquid as well and it may contain in liquids. So, uh, here uh, the liquids, particle of liquids uh, get adjusted in the gap between the particles of gases because there are huge gap in the part between, between the particles of gases as well. So, all these things what uh, you understand in this lesson in this uh, class that there are three different type of materials solid liquid and gases and on the basis of their characteristics which has been identified and described individually uh, we can decide that which substance is solid or which one of them is liquid and which one of them is gas so depending upon their characteristics we can classify i hope you understood it and on the basis of characteristics you will classify any of the substance which is around you you can uh, classify them uh, whether they are solid liquid or gas and you can do that your own so thank you very much for uh, this video and uh, watching this video and uh, i'll take a next class on the this topic that when the substances get changes their states and gases state and uh, also the change of a state of substance from solid to liquid and from liquid to gases how they can change their states and what are the process involved in changing of a states so that we will discuss in the next class don't forget to watch that and uh, till then bye bye god bless